Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Overland, Florida. I'm Kevin. I'm out here at Highland Park Fish Camp with Katie, my friend Will, and his girlfriend Kimberly. And it's our last day here in the little cabin. And I just want to give you guys a quick little tour. We got a full kitchen. We got one bedroom right in there with two beds. We got a little TV. Got a full bathroom in here. And you got another bedroom over here with two beds. So it's a good sized cabin. And we are really fortunate. Thank you again to Bryn for letting us stay here and hosting us all weekend. And we're going to pack up. We're going to head to the Marker 38 food truck, eat some breakfast. Will and Kim are actually fishing in the pond right now. And uh, we're going to take another little boat ride. So here's our big front porch. Got some rocking chairs, little sofa, outdoor little dining table right there. So here's part of the marina right here. They have boat storage. They have slips you can rent. They also have a fuel island and pontoon boat rentals. So Will and Kim are fishing right over here. That's a little bass pond. That's the office and general store. They got firewood, bait, tackle, all kinds of stuff. They also have long-term lot rentals. They have RV sites and campsites if you want a tent camp. So it's about 9.15 in the morning. We had some delicious biscuits and gravy from the Mile Marker 38 food truck. And as you guys can probably tell, beautiful weather. It's supposed to be almost 80 degrees today, I think. Blue skies. Anyway, we're loading up in the boats. We got gas last night, so we should have plenty. And today we are going to Blue Springs State Park. It's about I don't know, maybe 12 miles down on the St. John's River from Highland Park Fish Camp. Uh, we're just going to go to Blue Springs State Park, Pontoon Island stuff. What an absolute beautiful day. I wish we could have had blue skies Friday and Saturday. See, there's a little like apartment up there. It's pretty cool. Or office. I'd stay up there. I'd come work here just to be a deck deck hand, so I could stay up there. So we can tell today is going to be a really good day, not just by the really blue sky. We've already seen some otters and we haven't even gotten two tenths of a mile away from the fish camp yet. So this is the canal leading from the fish camp to the Dead River. And it's about three tenths of a mile long and you see so much wildlife just on this little section right here.
are now right in the middle of the St. John's River. It is so calm, which means we should be able to make a really good time on the boats since it's not choppy or anything. section of the St. John's River. We're coming up on Hontoon Island State Park. So we're gonna stop here. And we're gonna take a little walk around the park. There's a lot of houseboats in this section. So we made it onto Hontoon Island and now we're gonna hike on the trail called the wet trail and we gotta watch out for all these poisonous snakes so we walked on the hammock hiking trail and we walked probably like two miles around the island it's a pretty nice place a little change of pace from the fish camp and boating. Take a nice little break there. We are on our way to Blue Spring State Park. It's only a couple miles, so we should be there in about 15 minutes. And we're gonna check that out. Hopefully there's a lot of manatees in the spring. So if you're familiar with the St. John's River, we are almost at Blue Spring State Park. Over here is the French Landing. There's Will, some random kayakers. But slowly but surely we're getting there. So Blue Spring State Park is preparing for all the vanities, so they have all this section over here roped off so you can't paddle board or boat or anything in there. So we gotta go all the way down here at the end where this pontoon boat is. See if there's any way we can just tie off to the trees. This is gonna be really interesting because the river seems to be up a little bit. So probably gonna get muddy. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get muddy. Alright. Alright. Hope you guys brought your Crocs. <laughs> it's usually all just sand, but the river's up pretty high. That was nice of the state park to offer every amenity except for a dock for boats. So that was Blue Springs State Park. They actually have a campground there as well. And there were 67 manatees today. 
So now we're gonna head back up north the St. John's River and head back towards the fish camp. There's so many river houses on the St. John's River, and the further you go, it just seems like the bigger the houseboats get. Katie and I like this red and uh, yellow one right here. It's got a front porch, but we can't see it on the side. You can rent houseboats there at Holly Bluff Marina. There's just tons of them. So the sun is out, it's really warm. I totally regret wearing a black long sleeve shirt, but it's all I had left. And we are just now finishing the manatee zone. So we're gonna be able to get up to speed past these signs. And we're gonna let Will catch up with us and we're gonna see about getting some lunch. All right, Katie said yes, so we're going to get lunch. <laughs> So we settled to eat here, and the plan is we're gonna eat up on the roof. So we're leaving the St. John's River Bar and Grill. Delicious food. Um, I had the mahi sandwich. It was probably the best mahi sandwich I've had in a very long time. I think Katie had the flounder. Yeah, jumbo fish jumbo fish sandwich it was flounder awesome. she said it was delicious she ate every last bite of that will had a steak and i think everyone had a good time so we are headed north on the st john's river and we're going to catch the dead river and that's going to take us back to the uh, fish camp so that is our plan for the rest of the afternoon it is two o'clock a little bit of cloud cover a little bit of wind but not bad for a sunday afternoon On the final little two tenths of a mile back to the fish camp. It's been a great day of boating. The boats are running great, no issues. They've run approximately 80 miles this weekend on the St. John's River and canals and such. The only issue I'm having 
is my uh, tiller handle. Looks like it's coming loose. But I just gotta get a little socket and a ratchet and I can tighten that up real quick. It's a nice bass tractor. Got a lot of rental pontoon boats. And we're gonna pull into our slip for the last time. I'm gonna miss having a slip. It was nice not having to pull the boat out and on the trailer every single day. Get used to that. I don't know how well this is going to work. My trailer is so crooked. <laughs> My poor truck looks like it's been abandoned. Anyway, we got the boats out of the water. They both did great. We did great. We had a great time. Thank you so much to Bryn for inviting us to Highland Park Fish Camp. It's been a really great experience. We cannot wait to come back. Um, this is a great centralized place if you want to come set up camp, if you just want to come for the day. I think the launch fee is $5. Use the boat ramp over there. Um, we stayed in a cabin all weekend. Uh, number 58 it was a two bedroom cabin came with the works we had two boat slips over here so we didn't have to take the boats out of the water every single day that's a really nice thing we could get used to that never had to do that before but i just want to say this is such a gem of a place not just for the people but for the location and this is how florida used to be um, you can come to florida and think about theme parks and all this stuff but if you want to really experience florida and nature and everything it has to offer Highland Park Fish Camp is definitely a place worth checking out.